Hey everybody, today I thought I would do something a little bit different just to switch it up from my traditional beauty videos and talk about what is on my iPhone and how I actually edit my Instagram pictures. I used to do these videos all the time and you guys really liked them, especially now I've been doing kind of like a white Instagram theme, so I thought it would be fun to show you guys how I figured out the best way to do the white theme on your Instagram or any kind of theme that you might want to do just to make your page look beautiful. So I'm going to show you guys that and also some of my apps and my favorite things that I have here on my phone. So let's go ahead and get started. So I hope you guys can see this okay, but this is basically my iPhone. I have just the regular iPhone 6. It's kind of old by now, but I don't have an upgrade yet. But this is the case that I actually got from Amazon, so I'll be sure to link it for you guys if you're interested. It's a really nice rose gold color, and I like how durable and just sturdy it is. It has like that um, hybrid type to it, so it's like hard and then soft underneath, so it has some really great protection, which I definitely need. So this is my lock screen currently. It's a picture of Holly on Christmas. So adorable. <laughs> so this is what I have on my home screen. So I'm first going to quickly just go through the apps that I have, and then I'll talk about how I actually edit my Instagram pictures. So I just have the regular contacts and then my calendar, which I use for everything. Um, camera settings and then on my photos app store clock I like to keep things that I reach for the most and then this folder is just utilities it's just basic things I use that notes app all the time too and the reminders I always have a list of videos so that's really convenient then I just have the Kroger app which I'm obsessed with because I always have all my coupons on there it's really convenient when I'm shopping and then um, the weather channel find friends and then I just have music I typically keep all of my music on my phone and I just plug it into my car then I have PayPal and then Finance, which that should probably be in this folder, just my two banks. And then Google Maps, which I really like just for looking up stuff. And then Waze is my favorite app I think that I have on my phone because it's so convenient. I open it every single day when I'm driving to work. It's a traffic app, so it's updated real time. It's actually reported by users. So when there's wrecks and that sort of thing, it's updated automatically. So it'll tell you when there's traffic up ahead. It also tells you where cops are, which is amazing. Then I have a health section, which I never use because I'm not into fitness anymore like I should be, but it's just my fitness pal where you track your calories and then the health app. Then I have um, Google Calendar and Gmail. I have these two apps on here for work because um, I like to keep those separate than my regular calendars for my YouTube stuff, so those two are for my regular job. I just have um, a folder that was automatically named Productivity, and that's just... Dropbox, Google Sheets, Google Drive, and Hangouts. These are all things that I use for my regular job. So then at the bottom, I just have phone, Safari, my mail, and then text messages. Then on my next screen, I just have mostly all social media. So Twitter, Facebook, Facebook Messenger. This is um, Pages, which is actually for my YouTube page. If you want to like me on Facebook, I'm always replying to messages and comments on here. Um, so it's just Glam Me Up 8 same as my um, YouTube username. So if you want to check that out, I always get back to you guys on here because it's really convenient. Then I just have the YouTube app, just the regular one, and this is YouTube Studio. So this is great if you are a creator because you can access like all your analytics and stuff. And then there's Instagram, which I'm always on, and this is my feed here. So I'll come back to this in just a second to show you guys how to do the theme. Then right beside that, I have the photography folder, which actually has all of the apps that I use to edit my pictures and stuff. So again, I'll come back to that shortly, but these are the ones I use the most. EOS Remote actually connects to my regular camera through Wi-Fi, so I use that sometimes if I want to take pictures with my actual camera. Then I just have the Blogger app, which is what my website is hosted on, and then Pinterest. If you want to follow me on Pinterest, I'm always pinning different things, like for inspiration, also pinning pictures off my um, website and everything, so my username on there is just glam me up. Then I have Vine, which I hardly ever use anymore. That's why there's so many notifications on there. And then my Verizon, since that's the service I have, Amazon, eBay, Target, I love Target, obviously. And then CVS, that's great for coupons, and Kohl's has coupons, same with Ulta. This is an actual folder for coupons, so these are ones I always use in the store, like Target's Cartwheel. You can load coupons on here. If you don't know about it, you have to have it if you shop at Target. It's amazing. Retail Me Not is mostly for coupon codes, but they do have some in-store. And SnipSnap is a great app for coupons in store as well. You can find coupons for different stores and use them on there. I just have a shopping folder here. This is like barcode scanners and then Shopkick, which I talked about in my last um, what's on my iPhone video. I use this all the time when I'm shopping. You basically get points for actually walking into stores and for scanning things. So it's really nice. Your points add up and you can redeem them for gift cards. And I believe you get a gift card when you first sign up too, which is awesome. So I'll be sure to link you guys the app down below if you want to sign up for that because you get points, I think, for signing up 
for someone that referred you. So I think you'll get some from me referring you and then you also get points for walking into stores like Target and Kroger, stuff like that. Um, and you, I've gotten a ton of gift cards on here, especially for um, Target. I've gotten lots of like $20 cards and stuff on there. And then I have Ebates, which is my favorite. I love this so much. I'm always using this when I shop online. I do a lot of shopping on my phone too, so this is great because you, it's actually a browser too, so you can shop through this app. Um, I have a whole blog post explaining what this is, so I'm not going to get into it too much, but you can actually earn cash back for shopping, like eBay's 5%, all that kind of stuff. I already have a balance right now of $10. I've gotten so many different um, cash back payments. I get one every quarter, which is nice since I do shop a lot online, so this is really convenient. You see Charlotte Roos is 2%. Just every single store you can think of, Sephora is 8%. That's quite a bit, especially if you're ordering a lot. If you're ordering something really expensive too, you have to get cash back because it's basically paying you for shopping, which is great. So I'll link you guys to that blog post and for the sign up link. When you sign up and actually use it for the first time, you get a free $10 gift card, which is awesome. I already used mine when I got it back when I first signed up. So it's not a scam or anything. I get payments all the time, so it's definitely legit. Then my last screen is just stuff I hardly ever use. Um, Bitly I use to shorten my links a lot for tweets and stuff like that, um, just regular boring things. Then I have a travel folder here that just has Uber and Lyft, which I only use like if I'm traveling somewhere, so I don't use that that much, so I keep them just on the very end. So now for how I actually edit my Instagram pictures. I'll take you kind of through like the process, I guess. I actually have one I want to post right now, so I'll show you guys how I'm going to do that. So here is the actual before photo and this is the after, after I've already edited it. So I'm just going to take you back through again with this before picture. So if you look on my Instagram, everything kind of has that white theme. It's really nice because it just looks really clean and the white is the easiest one to keep up with. Sometimes it can be overwhelming if you're doing a different type of theme because your photo that you might want to post doesn't actually match it, which drives me nuts. Um, you can see before I was doing kind of like that... Um, really warm kind of dated look like the faded really warm and that one was okay but it was definitely hard especially if I wanted to post something white with a white background it just threw it off so I ended up going to just the plain white and that looks so much cleaner and works a lot more especially for product shots like that one um, it really helps to have just the white so I feel like that's the easiest and the one that most people use and it just looks so good too so first thing I would do is actually go here to my photography folder and I first take the photo into viscose I think that's how you say it VSCO so this is a place where you can actually edit your pictures so it's nice because it's kind of like having an Instagram feed so you can actually see what it's gonna look like once it's all together so this is really convenient so you just go up here to add I've already done this one I edited it yesterday like I was saying but so you just choose the picture that you want, check it off right there. So then you actually go here to actually edit it. So sometimes I do, these are all different kind of like filters and different presets. So when you have a theme, you want to make sure you stick to the exact same one every time. So I kind of have like a formula that I use every time. Usually I'll do the C1, which is vibrant and you can adjust how much it is. I think I did just like a one or so before on that. And that, that just kind of like brightened it up. And then I go here where you can actually fine tune and make adjustments. So you can adjust the contrast. I think the contrast looks pretty good the way it is. Um, the clarity, all that kind of stuff. I think I did a little bit of that. Sharpness, saturation. Um, you can do highlights, shadows, all that sort of stuff here. So I edit it here as far as like what the photo actually looks like and then I will save it. So now that I'm done with actually editing what the picture looks like, I take it into Facetune. This is where I do most of the background editing. You can also like do airbrushing and stuff like that, but I don't use that as much. So typically I will use the whiten tool first. This is meant to actually whiten your teeth, but I actually use it to whiten my background. Now I shot this picture in front of a white wall, so it's already white, but this tool is excellent if you have a background that is not white and making it look more white. So the first thing that I do is just take that and see how it's making it look. I don't know if it's picking it up on camera, but you can see here when you actually move it like that with your finger, it turns it white. So I do that over the entire thing like that. And I like how you can erase like the edges that you don't want to be white. So I'll just kind of go over my face to make sure I didn't get any of that in the whiteness. Then I actually use a filter. So they have really great filters on here that I didn't even know about before. So you scroll over, go to filters, and then I go to lighting and then lighter. So you see how that makes the photo look a lot brighter. And I like this app because if you hit wipe, you can actually take that off a certain area of the photo. So I don't want my face and my actual hair and my shirt and stuff to look whiter, I just want the background. 
So as I'm going over it with my finger, it's actually erasing where it put that filter. Um, so there's all different kind of filters if you wanted to do you know, any sort of look here, this is where you could do it. I really like these filters better than some of the Instagram ones, and I like how you can actually choose where you're going to apply it. Then sometimes I will take it back into this app where I can actually see it all together, so I'll just reload that photo and delete the other one so I can actually see what it looks like. That's what I did with most of these. So that's the before, and then that's the after, and you can just see it looks a lot more whiter, and it's going to look great with the rest of my pictures because it's basically the same. So once I'm done with this video, I'm just going to actually upload that so you guys can see what it looks like on here. So follow me over there on there if you want to see. So that is everything for what is on my iPhone. Be sure to check the links down below if you're interested in getting any of these and check out my Instagram if you want to see the full theme. So that is it for my video on what is on my iPhone and also how I edit my Instagram pictures. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, my username is just glam me up, and I will put the link for that down below if you're interested in following me. I would love to have you and I'll definitely like and follow your pictures and stuff back. Also, if you're interested in any of the apps that I mentioned or any of the saving sites and everything I talked about, I will have that link down below too if you're interested. Thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye everyone. Hey everyone, today I'm doing a winter lookbook for you all to show you guys a couple different outfits that I put together featuring some of my favorite Fashion Nova items that I've gotten recently. 